The quick answer to how Delta's fourth quarter earning report turned out is, uh, I think that was good. They made $170 million in this quarter, and their CEO said that they expect to be the only profitable airline in this quarter. So those two things are promising. But in this market climate, I don't know if you can expect a big jump in their stock price. We can go ahead and look at their stock price right now. Currently sitting at $41.53. This is pre-market activity. You can see right here, we're asleep, we're asleep. Boom, we wake up. Um, it hops up about 2.3%, and then it sort of just stayed right around there. Now, this is pre-market activity. So typically, we would see you know these big price swings because there's not a lot of trading going on. But even with that, it didn't go up a ton. And I think that's the result of seeing these you know meh results that fall right in line with what analysts expect. I'll go over that in a second. And in this current market climate, we're really looking for big winners, value, people that can have a large growth trajectory in the future. So let's hop over. Um, and this is a good summary of what happened. In this column right here, you basically have what they actually reported. And in this one, you had what analysts were predicting. So they're basically saying, hey, when they go into this earnings report, this is how much they're going to make. And yes, you know, on the left column, it says, hey, they beat uh, the earnings per share prediction, they beat revenue prediction, um, they miss load factor, I'll talk about that in a second. But even right here, it's like, yes, they beat uh, the revenue projection, which was 9 billion, and they beat it by 9.5 billion, right? People were probably hoping for a bigger beat there to jump the stock price. And then really, this load factor number was the bigger indicator that people were looking at. Uh, they were predicting 78.5% and they fell just short of that 78%. And so let's actually talk about what that means because with airlines, load factor is really important. It's basically a jargony word to say out of all the available seats that an airline has, what percentage are actually filled? What percentage of seats are filled? And this has been a very important number to track as airlines have been recovering from COVID, how many passengers are actually hopping onto these flights. Now, because airlines have such fixed costs, meaning that they're paying the same in staff, oil, um, you know, other expenses, whether they have 50 passengers ride on the plane or 100, those costs don't really change because at the end of the day, the plane needs to fly. Load factor, what percentage of seats are actually filled becomes very important. And fun fact, Delta's load factor uh, in the two years before the pandemic was above 85% really consistently. And it was 41% this time last year. And so heading into this call where they're expecting 78.5%, that felt bold to me. But the fact that Delta basically just fell, you know, half a percent short, right in line with 78%, just means once again that it's right in line with what analysts are thinking. And you might be thinking, yeah, but 78% in the midst of a pandemic sounds great. And the reason why I say these are okay, yeah, that's good results, is because in this market climate, with inflation on the rise, is there going to be another COVID variant, which is COVID pie, by the way? COVID pie in the face? Uh, will international and business travel come back in full swing? They're just a decent amount of unknowns for airline companies when especially pre-COVID Delta was gravitating around 50 to 55 bucks per share really consistently. People are hunting for value right now and Delta seems to be priced well with not a ton of upside in the immediate future. And in this current market, right, we're all secretly hoping for a stock to crazy surprise and Delta just didn't surprise that much.